Up first, we have the Chariot card from the Alchemy 1977 England Tarot. The Chariot is one card that I do love in the tarot. Um, I know, you know, the willpower, the overcoming, um, I love those meanings and tend to use them along with believing that the chariot is also symbolic for like our body and even our mind um, and spirit. Anything that we can use to travel or move forward in. In this card, definitely the overcoming or the willpower, like she's chaining her demons up or um, whatever was hindering her, you know, she's in control of. She's riding <laughs> the dragon or serpent or whatever and uh, got him chained and facing him right in the eyes like, look, bitch, I, I, I've got this. And uh, you know me, I love anything with bravery, courage, and uh, that type of energy. Up next, we are doing the card from the Casanova Tarot. So, besides for loving, you know, the carriages from the old times, um, this is kind of a reminder that you can have fun on your journeys, right? Um, in this deck, it's quite, you know, sexually explicit. And uh, I can only assume them two in the back there are you know, having a bit of sex a time, you know, the, the, the good stuff in the back. And uh, while their chariot pulls them further along on their journey. I like this card because I think when we think of the meanings, we can kind of assume that, like, stay focused on the goal. Like, you know, it's driven, it's... Um, willful and uh, quite forceful or at least how I perceive the meanings it is of the chariot you know um standardly but uh, this reminds me yeah you can kind of loosen up and have fun on your journey up next we got it coming from the night sun tarot I love this one because on our journeys and in our will or um, drive whatever's pushing us forward I think this card kind of represents a uh, perspective and that there is a different perspective in each scenario so where we may be courageous in doing what we need to do to um, enforce our will or drive or carry on or move forward what have you um, there could always be a different perspective and it's important to look at the uh, polar opposite of the situation, even the duality of our choices or what is driving us, if that makes sense. And next we have the Myths and Legends Tarot. Of course you knew I had to include this, okay? Um, Viking ships? Hell yeah! Um, so it's like a Norse funeral carrying them to uh, Valhalla or actually that could be even Helheim um, from the waters and but yeah that kind of looks like Asgard in the background anyway regardless um, this represents a few aspects of what I said earlier to me so the ship of course would be our physical body you know moving forward or driving us like a vehicle like a chariot the fire would be our spirit and the water would be our consciousness or um soul because i do believe that the spirit and soul are two separate things which um that's a topic for another video but Anyway, we can carry it all and travel with all of them in different ways to many different places. Whether that's in the material uh, plane, the afterlife, or, you know, wherever. That's just another journey. 
and we're constantly going through these journeys even in what we perceive as life or life. Next up, the lovely Iris Tarot. Continuing on our little death talk from the previous one, it's eternal, but also I see the duality in this one as well. Um, two different, you know, perceptions, two different ways of viewing things, two different bodies, but ultimately that serpent becomes one in that infinity symbol, just like the Ouroboros. So it's all one but still drives you, still moves, it still keeps going, um, just like a chariot, just like life, just like any cycle. And we have the Tarot of Vampires. Yeah, I don't know, just, uh, that was a bad Dracula voice. But this is not a bad card. <laughs> Um, I absolutely love this one. This is that courageous, like, willpower driving forward force. And what I like about it is the aiming of the arrow. Um, I believe it's aiming toward their target or goal. The chariot's their body. Um, they're using their psychic and intuitive beings of themselves to drive them forward. It's like the gas for that chariot, if you will. And, um, yeah, I believe that this animal, griffin, whatever that is, is representing their will. I think this is a beautiful and very symbolic card. And our last is the Tarot of the She. Of course I had to include this. What do you mean? Again, we can see that duality, I'm telling you, man. I don't think that's talked about enough, that the chariot, the things that drive us forward, the reason why we make certain choices we make, are all based on our perception and can be perceived differently in other ways. However, we always think what we're doing is right or the right choice at the time, right? And that's what drives us ahead and our vehicles. It's what creates movement. She looks liberated and like, I am on my way. And again, I think the uh, horse here, Pegasus, is the will, the drive, and the choice that is moving her along. Um, the eclipsed sun in the background um in that spiral kind of like eternal life or cycles etc so i definitely do love this card and it's even got the galaxy in the background yes i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'm sorry it's quite short i have to keep the video short due to my signal from ongoing storms but I love you all and much love.